So I just finished reading uh, Jim Burke's Classroom Management, and uh, I, I definitely like having that in my toolkit because I think I'm going to be using it as a lot as a teacher. I really liked his um, notes for new teachers and even legal notes, um, kind of highlighting things that I either need reminders of or things that I wouldn't normally think of. Um, I really liked what he had to say about classroom management, kind of trying to take a proactive or, or even being prepared ahead of time approach. Um, the idea of having uh, the walls adorned with student, you know, work from pa like previous students or um, you know having sections blocked off for the legal like procedures and um, various things that are required such as uh, the schedule, uh, bell schedule, maybe the calendar or what's coming up. Um, I've definitely seen that from some of the teachers I've observed and I feel like that's been really good to have that visual example as well. Um, I really like how Jim Burke was talking about having um, you know, having a spot in the room it doesn't have to be big, but having a spot that can be kind of quote unquote our space rather than my space as the teacher, uh, not as the website. Um, and one of the reason I really like that was because I feel like that really helps create a cohesive unit in the class. And um, then he moved on to talk about instruction, talking about how being prepared and having a structure each day can be very helpful for the students. Um, my guide teacher has uh, the first five ten minutes of Monday through Thursday are warm up, and the kids know that, and the kids uh, have come to expect that. And so there's that going on while uh, things are being written on the board, and the teacher is getting ready to teach the remainder of the lesson. And then there's also structure about towards the end of class as things are wrapping up. Um, Jim Burke really kind of hit home about how it's really good to have a nice closer. I've received feedback that I need to work on that. And I really liked having Jim Burke's uh, examples. Things like um, reflecting on what was taught during the lesson or possibly uh, asking the students to identify moments where they might use this in their own personal life. Uh, that's also nice because it validates their own experiences rather than just saying, I am the teacher and I am the law which I feel is a little more authoritarian than uh, students would like myself as a teacher to be, or any teacher to be. Um, but also, just just knowing the instruction ahead of time really helps create confidence in the teacher. It can instill confidence in the students that the teacher knows what they're doing. The teacher is able to uh, speak for the students. Um, so uh, I really like that. Um, I felt I felt with when uh, Jim Burke was talking about the differentiation that I was actually expecting him to talk about maybe differentiation about learning styles or about ways to pre present things. One of the things that I commonly think of with differentiation is learning styles of auditory, visual, and uh, kinesthetic. And he went kind of the other route, which is I don't want to say is any less important. It's very important being aware of how to teach uh, the majority of the students that may just come in from all walks of life, but also the, whatever EL students might be in the class and uh, the different ways to kind of help scaffold learning for them, something that we talked about last semester, and then also dealing with students that have IEPs and realizing that if they act out in class, that that's not something that I should take personally uh, because it's not meant as a personal attack against the teacher, it's just uh, a behavior that's a manifestation of whatever ails them and how there was a focus on before you know if I'm not certain of how to deal with that I should go to the ESL teacher for EL learners and um, kind of the special education aid for anybody that has an IEP that I don't fully understand so I really appreciate that there was mention of resources as well um, when it came to discipline I, I again felt like uh, Jim Burke was establishing more of like a proactive approach. He seemed to be talking about how to deal with students before they become problems, which I really liked. Um, even mentioning students, oh, that if they're off task during the class, uh, I should keep an eye on them. While off task oftentimes is not always a bad thing uh, initially because, oh, you know, the student might be quietly reading or they might be working on homework for another class and so not being overtly disruptive. 
but still it's not creating an atmosphere of being present in the class and that in and of itself can give other students permission to not be present in more disruptive ways and so I really feel like keeping an eye on anybody that's not currently working on classwork pertinent to the class that I am teaching is somebody that I need to focus on and address so I really appreciated that and I really appreciate just the little nuggets that are kind of buried throughout this book um, the new teacher notes, the legal issues. I really liked how those are gray and kind of easy to find, uh, and especially because they're things that either I needed to be reminded of or things that I didn't even bother to think of. So that's really helpful. Anyways, that's all I got to say.